Well, I have a question for each and every one of you. Who knows how to buff a car? Does anybody know how to buff? Oh, see, awesome. This is so great. Buffing a car is a process that literally removes layers of paint from a car's finish, exposing layer of paint underneath. The process restores the car's original luster and will tr transform the car's overall appearance. If little nicks and scratches are ignored, rust can form, and this will lessen the vehicle's beauty and reduce the car's value. By buffing a car every two to three months, the car will be more aesthetically pleasing and will maintain its finish longer. So buffing a car is a process, and aren't we all in process? Being formed into the spotless image of Christ. I have felt along my walk with the Lord that he is always buffing and polishing me. And along my walk with the Lord, one step at a time, the car buffing process can restore the original luster and will transform the car's overall appearance. So on my walk with the Lord, one of my first steps was baptism. And this was an amazing, amazing piece for me in my heart because baptism is an outward expression of your faith in Jesus Christ and an inward transformation where your identity in life is in him. So baptism for me, my being my first step, meant that I was going to be able to have the Holy Spirit with me every day. And my next step along my journey was being able to get out those nicks and scratches in my life that had been ignored. For some reason, I ran into too much credit and I had borrowed too much money. I mean, my, I had a credit card on a vacuum cleaner. Doesn't that make sense? My husband had credit on a stereo system, so we thought, woohoo, we're really collecting all the great things in life, right? Well, we came to Pastor Steve and we said, Pastor Steve, we are having issues with our finances. What should we do? And he said, hey, would you guys like to teach or facilitate financial peace? We will, we will. So we took financial peace as a class to be able to learn more and more to facilitate it. And because we wanted to keep our finances going in the right direction, we decided to teach it for six years to keep us on the knowledgeable end of what to do with our finances. And I know that we are continually, continually being buffed by God. And we were continually being buffed by God, being able to teach financial peace for six years. But sometimes along, that, along those paths, we had some nicks and scratches in our marriage. So what did Pastor Steve say? Would you guys like to facilitate love and respect? Yes, we will. So what we did was we took it to the community center and we had a, finance, or a love and respect facilitated class there. And we had half of the people coming from the community and half of the people coming from the church. And that was so awesome to see people growing, listening to how to love and how to respect. And that was just on our journey for the community. And then the rust kept forming in our lives. And if this lesson was the beauty and the value that we were looking for, and that's what I was looking for, because along my path, I never felt beautiful. I never felt like I was worthy to be around people. I never felt the amazing part that I was valuable to other people. So walking with the Lord, he guided me to Elijah House in the cities to come and learn how to help people find the roots of their problems. And I didn't think I had any problems. I just wanted to help other people. But I did. And I was able to forgive and let it go to the Lord. And I was so excited to bring this class back to Community Celebration Church and now we call it Healing Hearts. 
And I wanted you guys just to go ahead and watch a video for Melissa Larson. Hi, CCC family. My name is Melissa Larson, and I would like to share with you how Healing Hearts has made my life better. My husband and I have three grown children, and ours is and was a blended family. Um, I had my daughter when I met my husband, and she was just 14 months old when we got married. And after going through the Healing Hearts classes, um, I realized that I had made some decisions and choices that really hurt my kids, but specifically my daughter, and had caused you know, a strain in our relationship for the past 10 years. And I called her up, she lives out of state, and I apologized to her for, you know, what was on my heart that God had showed me that decisions that I had made that hurt her. And for the first time, she shared with me all sorts of things that hurt, that hurt her when she was growing up. And I was able to apologize. And I think a lot of healing happened for both of us. Since then, and that was over a year ago, she has allowed me back in her life. And we talk on the phone quite often, and sometimes she just wants to hang out on the phone, and we may hang out on the phone for hours. And she's allowed me to be a mom again to her. So, you know, she, she comes to me with problems and wants to know my opinion and wants to know my advice and wants to know what I think. And she's just, it's just a beautiful thing. I have longed for my daughter, absolutely longed for her for the last 10 years and have missed her so much and missed being a part of her life. And it's all because of healing hearts and what we've learned about asking God to forgive us and forgiving those who have hurt us. And then where applicable, going to the people that we've hurt and asking them to forgive us. And there is so much power in that. Jesus is right in the middle of it. And so much healing. And life is just better. It's so good. And so I would like to encourage anybody that's interested in, in the Healing Hearts Prayer Ministry to take the classes this fall and you will see wonderful changes in your life too. Thank you. So along with that, what is your walk with Christ like? We can improve. We can compare it to growing up, right? When we are newborn, we are such a lovely, lovely baby coming up. And we are just, we are being carried by our parents. We cannot walk yet. And we are be carried by them because they can protect us. They can keep us in wonderful, wonderful arms, wonderful arms wrapped around us. And then we will begin to crawl, step by step to crawl, right? And then we will be able to get up and, whoa, oh, I'm moving one step forward, one step forward. Yay! Because... This is the process of us growing and maturing and keeping moving forward with the Lord. It's a progress, process, that we're always in our existence to be able to move forward where God is guiding us. So you are a work in progress. And you are a work in progress. And you are a work in progress. We are all a work in progress one step at a time, being divinely 
buffed, buffed by God each and every step of our way. So as, a, as in a process, many of us have struggles in our lives. And have you ever been financially broken? Have you ever seek the guidance on how to raise your children? Have you ever had struggles in your marriage? Have you ever been depressed, lost, or lonely? Are you sometimes needing joy in your life and peace in your heart? And you need to be loved by other people around you. Is your life in chaos? We all need to overcome struggles in our lives somehow. You know the wild part is? God never, ever changes. He never changes. But along our paths in our life, our lives are always changing. Certain things are changing throughout our life around us all the time. We need to take it one step at a time, walking with Lord, and He will be the one guiding you. We don't need to be guides for our Father, and we don't need to strive for God, and we don't need to perform for Him. He is our Father, and He so loves each and every one of you, so awesome, so amazingly. So how do we walk with the Lord? As it says in Acts chapter 2, verse 37 through 40, what are we to do, my brothers, Peter said to them? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. What are we to do first? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the Holy Spirit. God comes down and gives you the Holy Spirit for just believing and having faith in Him. The next part I want to look at is developing relationships with other Christians. They are there to encourage you and keeping you moving forward. As it says in Acts chapter 2, 40, 40 through 47, they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. They devoted themselves to learning more and more each and every day from the apostles and also to the communal life which in every believer is coming together and sharing their lives, sharing their lives. And it says in the next reading, awe came upon everyone and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles and all who believed were together and all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Home groups became an outlet for support. They helped one another in practical ways by meeting each other's needs. Man, they sold their possessions to help other ones who are in need. The next reading says, every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate meals with exultion and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. They devoted their time to meeting together to meeting together, praising God with all, all people. They didn't say, okay, that group can't come. This is the only group that I'm going to meet with. No, they met with all people. No matter what nationality, no matter what color, they met with all, all people. And I'm positive that God, that's what God wants us to do, is to be able to meet with all people in our lives. Having people in our lives is so very, very, very important. We, don't, we don't, aren't just walking and running into this person for no reason. We are walking along and running into people for great reasons. 
God put those people in our lives for absolutely amazing reasons, and sometimes we don't understand, but God does. So I want to encourage you to start joining some process groups and asking questions along your way, and sometimes asking prayer for those things that you are struggling with. So what is a process group? A community of three to 12 people, Jesus followers, devoting themselves to doing Christian life deeply together. And in process groups, we are moving one step at a time, moving forward. And I have three people from process groups that would like to come up and talk about their transformation that happened. Hello. These groups were a great start to my growth path. It doesn't happen every night. Uh, it's accumulative. It comes from the topic at hand and the atmosphere of people sharing. You don't have to pass, or you don't have to share. You can pass as many times as you'd like. Dr. Cloud, a great uh, therapist, said, "This is the way people get better. This is the way the highest achievers achieve their goals. They don't do it alone, and they do ask for help." My wife has made lasting friendships with the women from my Healing Hearts class. So you never know where God is going to take you. There's a destiny that has made us brothers. None go his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others come back into our own. We are all level at the foot of the cross. Hope to see you in group. Awesome. Hello, my name is Carissa. I have gotten the privilege to take Healing Hearts um, this last year, and I first heard about this class from my parents. Um, they both took the class, and they said it was life-changing, and I was seeing pieces of evidence in their lives changing as well. However, I was very skeptical and hesitant um, because I haven't lived as many years of life as they have, and I haven't been through as many things that they have been through. So I said, how can one class be so life-changing? But I'm here to tell you that I will never be the same person I was from the moment I first walked into my first Healing Hearts class. I've been going to this church for over 15 years, and I know God, but I truly feel God in my life and his, life, his presence in my life after this class. Not only that, but I started with people I barely knew, and we all left as a family. Mm. My life has changed forever. And just from this class, I highly recommend it for anyone who is in any phase of life. Good morning, I'm Tammy Queensland, and I just am so proud to be standing up here with two of my friends, um, actually three, Pastor Amy included, um, and we've all been through Healing Hearts, um, but we've also been through some other process groups. Um, when I came to CCC about a year ago, I was pretty broken and walking in the fog of trauma. Um, about that time of the year, Pastor Amy was up here sharing about Healing Hearts. Um, this was my first process group that I joined um, after I had participated in some of the care sessions last fall. Um, healing Hearts has truly changed my life. I'm healing from my brokenness and rediscovering the woman God created me to be. From there, I've continued to grow my faith um, through continuous participation in process groups, such as the Red Sea Rules, DNA of Relationships, Parenting Teens, and uh, most recently, a Change Your World. These groups paired with the weekly sermons have taught me to let go and learn to fully trust God even when his plans are different from what I had planned. An added bonus is a number of friends I have met along the way the most wonderful friends willing to walk this path called life together. Awesome. Well, thank you guys hugely, hugely. Yeah, I just wanted to thank them for coming forward to celebrate, to, to exchange that they've all been in different process groups and the friendships that have been made for their community in wonderful ways. And we need to all come together, right? We all need to come together because as it says in Acts, all who believed were together and had, had all things in common. So uh, I'm just very, very excited to talk about all the process groups 
to all of you in amazing ways, but I first wanted you to look at the screen to know how to download the CCC app. Hey everyone, we are so excited to announce that we now have a church app. We can't wait to share it with you. In order to get it on your phone, you can download it at either the iTunes App Store or the Google Play Store and searching for Community Celebration Church. Here's what the app looks like. If you're having trouble finding it on your phone, visit our website, ccc-casson.org, and scroll down to the app banner and link. Then choose which store you want to download the app from. On the app, you can find information on process groups, upcoming events, a Bible reading plan, and Pastor Steve's blog. You can also watch sermon videos and download them to listen to offline. You can view sermon notes, take your own sermon notes on the sermon video in the app, and even share the sermon with family and friends. This is a great way to stay connected to our church. If you need any help downloading this app on your phone, feel free to visit one of our tech people in the sound booth in the back of the sanctuary, and they should be able to help you. If you are online, go ahead and send an email to this email, and we will be able to help you get that on your phone. Guys, we are so excited about this app, and more importantly, we cannot wait to connect with you. So, here's the neatest part. If you have your phones today, go ahead and take them out because I want you to be able to go ahead and join the process group that you're wanting to go to. And I'm going to be going through and describing all of them to you in just one second. So that's what I'm hoping and praying. And if you don't have your phones, we will have a few computers out in some gathering grounds for you to go ahead and get signed up. And it's always upon your days that work best for you. But the first step is baptism. If you're walking with the Lord, simply believing and having faith in the Lord, come on September 26th to be baptized. It's going to be at 1230. And this is an act of obedience, an outward sign of an inward commitment to Jesus Christ. You know, one of the second steps is we have so many process groups one of the first ones I want to describe is the men's Tuesday mornings Bible study, and that is Tuesday mornings at 6.30 a.m. at the church. And then we also have the women's Bible studies, which is at 9 a.m. Sunday mornings, or Tuesday mornings. And they are studying the book called The Chosen. And then we also have this other awesome group called the In Process Group, age 18 to 30 years old. They meet on Tuesday, or Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock, right? So yeah, 7 o'clock, Tuesday nights. They are going to be able to grab their food. They have food first. They have fellowship, and they also have great discussion. And then we have this next one coming up called Change Your World, and that is on Sunday night. So tonight at 6.30, and that one is by John Maxwell. He is the author of the book. And he teaches about values of what it takes to be a bigger on the inside. And also those values called hope, listening, valuing every person, integrity, forgiveness, and multiplication. Another one is called God of Deliverance. And that's going to be on Tuesday evenings at 6.30 p.m., this verse-by-verse -verse study of Exodus chapter 1 through 18. The same God who delivered Israel also delivers all those he loves from slavery to sin and from service to the pharaohs of this world. So that is going to be an awesome Bible study. And then we have Healing Hearts, which is starting t this Tuesday, September 14th at 6.30 p.m., specifically for root causes that lead to broken relationships and habitual sin 
and the other struggles that you have in your life issues. And then, then we have Wednesday nights, which is starting this this Wednesday night, September 15th, we have all these wonderful, wonderful process groups. We are going to have Bible study fellowship on Wednesday nights in the other part of the church down there. That is a terrific, incredible Bible study because what they go through is a reading and having understanding of that chapter. And then we have Boundaries with Teens starting September 15th at 6.30 p.m., which is an exceptional class for those parents that have teens. You know why? Because it's the best knowledge to know when to say yes and when to say no. That is an awesome, awesome class. The next one is We Will Not Be Silenced, starting September 15th at 6.30 p.m. This study will move you forward beyond fear and boldly accept the challenge of representing Christ to a watching world that needs him more now than ever. So that is a great Bible study. Another one, this, this particular class, Financial Peace, is going to be over at the high school on Wednesday nights at 6.30. And that is an absolutely great, great class. If you are financially looking for help, please go to this class. It is going to be teaching, or Dave Ramsey has taught this class for 25 years and has been teaching common sense, biblical money principles that work. This course teaches you how to save for emergencies, pay off debt fast, spend wisely, and invest for your future. Another class that's also going to be over at the high school is the DNA of Relationships. This is an amazing class. Life is a relationship. And we are designed for relationships. They often sometimes bring us pain, but we have three great relationships. One with God, one with others, and one with ourselves. And it's amazing. Relationships will help you to learn to take personal responsibility, create a safe environment, keep your battery charged, listen with your heart, and adapt a no-losers policy. So those two classes, Financial Peace and the DM Relationships, is going to be at the high school Tuesday or Wednesday nights. Other process groups. This one is called Share Jesus Without Fear. Share Jesus Christ Without Fear. This one is going to be Monday night starting on September 20th at 6.30 p.m., and it's also going to be on Sundays at 10.15, September 19th. This class encourages you to depend on God's power to reach out to others. Share Jesus Christ without fear also equips you with communication skills and other, other tools so that you are confident in sharing your faith. Well, another life group is called Blended family life group. Starts Monday, September 27th at 6 p.m. And this is a different dynamics for blended families by applying biblical principles and providing support for each other. And then we have this awesome camping weekend adventure coming on October 8th through the 10th. And this is going to be held at Maple Springs Campground in Preston, Minnesota. The neat part about this is that for two days, you guys are going to be together, having fellowship, having one-on-one -on -one time with each other, having prayer time, having individual quiet time. It's just going to be so fantastic. Oh, it's a deep breath. Then we have this other one which is if you have any hobbies at home that you haven't been able to finish, bring them over to the church because we're going to have a hobby day to be able to bring hobbies together, to be able to feed off of one another, to be able to have a great time accomplishing your hobby. Then we have a group called Service Projects. And this is an extraordinary, amazing group because these people have joined a group to be able to go help others, no matter what it is. If they're outside needing some trees cut down, if they're needing some lawns mowed, whatever it is, painting, 
they are able to accomplish this and they meet once a month to be able to go help people. And then we have this other one which is called MOPS, Mothers of Preschoolers. And I remember our, my, all my four kids when they were so small being able to take them to MOPS. It was so amazing because you bring your little ones to this group and they get to go and play with all the other little ones and then you get to go and have hangout time with other moms to feed off of them. So this is such a great group and this starts on September 17th at 9 a.m. You know, and then we also have the great opportunity to serve others. Serving is a great way to build a community. We have Celebrate Recovery, we have Al-Anon, we have Alcoholics Anonymous, we have Rejoice and Resilience, and it's just so many great things that this church is putting on this year in amazing, amazing ways, and I hope and pray for each and every one of you to be guided, to be buffed by God along your path to know where he's pointing you so more so than anything. So I just wanted to lift that up to the Lord today. So know what your, no matter what your past is like, God no longer sees you as you once were. Instead, he just wants to keep transforming your life into your precious, amazing son and daughter for the Lord. So let's pray. Lord, we just come to you today and we are so thankful for you walking alongside of us each and every day. You are continually with us. You are continually holding on to our right hand, walking with us. Sometimes you're even carrying us, Lord. But I'm just so thankful for you doing the buffing and the cleaning that so needs to happen in our lives. And we only want to move forward with you beside us. So I just thank you for your warmth, for your love, and for your guidance. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.